everybody who fallen to the next week. Awesome in gaming. This is a fun calm game, so if you've never played the longest journey, that's fine. As well, it does come in installments. Um you don't have to have played the previous game for it to be an awesome game. So this is an awesome company, they have a great storytelling style. The world could end because of them, and I would still just adore them. Like, I love, love, love their story. They like to incorporate this Asian element in a way that I only see in Russian games, and they are so focused on the apocalypse and diesel punk that it misses this, um, like, you see it in Elvish, like this etheric element, um, this eldritch feel that Dreamfall just nails, and so does Longest Journey. So, like, I just, I can't not. I, I adore it. So we're starting out in the temple. It is tainted. That's it. Strange things are afoot. I am at the crossroads between waking and dream. One path leads back to the world I left behind. The other path... The other path leads to a place of shadows. Between the familiar and the unknown, between certainty and doubt, my choice would seem obvious. Any sane man would turn around, return to the world he knows, forget what he has learned, and live his life in blissful ignorance. But in truth, it is too late. My choice was made many years ago, when I first embarked on this journey. I cannot turn back. I am at a crossroads. But for me, there is only one path. I leave behind these words in the hope that someday they will serve as a map for someone else. To whomever reads this, Godspeed Bye, on your journey. If you ever decide to follow in my footsteps, she may. look me up. Brian Westhouse. Brian Westhouse was in the last game. He had a broken time watch um, that allowed him to cross over. So he actually wound up stuck in a world of magic. We are ready to go. So this is amazing. This was back before polygonals were even a thing. So what they did with them was incredible. They skinned them, um, which was not the most common tactic. I've asked the monks to take care of my journal. Hopefully it will enlighten someone else's journey. The interactive style is similar to a backdrop. So um, rather than changing a wheel, what you do is move through elements. So you gather story. See how I can move around my perspective The here. life of the llama is as hard as their beds. All that I'm doing right now is looking for things to look at. So as I move around, I'll be doing that. And then it switches back to a camera angle. So they used a couple different design elements to keep it um, interactive. So when you walk into things, you don't have that circle around your foot problem that a lot of polygonals do. Um, you very much feel like you are immersed in, in the story. So, very easy for you to see whether or not you can um, touch things. And you can even double check. So that's a great feel for somebody who's used to an FPS or an RPG um, that's open world where you have a lot to interact with. But what you're trying to do is bring them the concept that your backdrop is literally that and that your the world is your stage. Those are money wheels show you. imprinted with the mantra, Aum Mani Padme Hum. It's a blessing. My, my problem with working with the camera... Those are money wheels imprinted with the mantra, Aum Mani Padme Hum. It's a blessing. Is that I um, tend to swing wide. So it's a little bit off for my camera. So they're gonna pray it away here. They're gonna meditate in home. You know, it 
looks like it's set up for the ceremony. Um, I suppose it wouldn't technically be a ceremony. Buddhist monks tend to believe in erasure, where they will build art and then remove it. Um, they're not exactly nihilists, but the concept of Zen is definitely in there. Um, so it's a way. Um, and it's the closest that I ran into it in Western culture is Heraclitus com um, comment that you can never step into the same river twice. So He's meditating. I shouldn't disturb him. I think I'm supposed to walk into the middle. Hold on. Do I have a guide here? Am I doing this right? Look for your guide, friend. Look for your guide. I always, Brian was one of my guides last time, or at least a way station, so. Also, no. Um, the zoom and then flux away on the camera is awesome. Which is, it, it leads you astray at first until you get rid of it. But what it does is gives you a continuous flow of stories. It's very cinematic. Nobody's adopted it. It makes me insane. Like, how can they be so artistic and yet so unique? I think that somebody else would have bought rights or. She had to protect the egg, uh, or excuse me, a dragon that fought off chaos, and she had to protect the egg. After that, we tried to rescue our little sister who had been kidnapped by scientists. They say that every story has a beginning and an end. But we think that might be true in away. most cases. Sometimes, however, the two are one and the same. My name is Zoe Castillo. I don't usually look this pale, but that's what you get for being in a coma. That's my father, Gabriel. I'm all he's got in this world. My mother died 15 years ago and I don't have any siblings. I think he'll be very lonely when I'm gone. I wish I could have talked to him one last time, let him know that everything will be okay. But that would be a lie. The only thing I could have said is goodbye. Since I'm lying in that bed but I'm talking to you from out here, I guess this is what they call an out-of-body experience. I'm not sure anyone can hear me, but I've had some experience with voices from the grave recently, so I'm giving it a shot. Bad things are happening, and everyone who knows the truth is either dead or has vanished off the face of the earth. They didn't if I can get through to someone, anyone, maybe something can be done. So if you can hear me, please listen. This is very, very important. It might just be the most important thing ever. I heard you that they were interested in introducing the You'll have to forgive magic. me for using the oldest cliche in the book. It all began when...
What's that glossy fabric? I, I absolutely love that, and I can never think of what it's the sheer. It's so perfect for um, curtains. Causing the unfortunate cow to implode. Ryan? Moo. <laughs> That's a spicy meatball. <laughs> to err is human, to forgive is bovine. <laughs> I'm running out of cow jokes here, people. Thanks, Diane. The static has been blamed for a chain collision this morning on the Crosstown Express, killing one person and injuring five. Witnesses say that a delivery truck lost wire contact and manual systems failed to take over, causing it to hit another vehicle. This accident coincides with a new report from CTU, claiming definitive evidence that the static is caused by heavy sunspot activity. The report has already come under fire from several... <laughs> Must be some kind of viral ad. Coming home, folks, and the are knocking them down like so when you purchase Dreamfall chapters, you do get the sequel, which they did decide to include as a Zoe, chapter because there's a message. Love that name. My mobile's beeping. Or you just, you know, wind up in the in-between and this guy tells you the stories are at a juncture. So okay, so we go can go and get the mobile. We play Zoe. Obviously, um, like I said, this is a very well fleshed out company. This isn't their first game. Um, there's a lot to explore, and they do it in an incredibly cinematic style. Their characters are very. We've got real a people. service that takes care of the house and the laundry, but they only stop by once a week. So when they're telling you things, they're telling you things about her world. I'm glad I don't have to share awesome. a bathroom with Dad. He's messy. Um, my favorite place in the world. I take the longest showers. I mean, what else is there to do? My favorite place in the world. I take the longest showers. I mean, what else is there to do? Um, I'm glad I don't have to share a bathroom with Dad. He's messy. So all of your points of interest are surrounded by these brackets. I always thought that was awesome for an adventure game because what they do is provide you with more text. So anyways, I'm going to stop it here. Um, if you do love it, please do drop a like, subscribe, comment. Also down there, Gamer Grind, um, they ship coffee to your door. They're a great co-op, so they'll put your logo on merch. You can have team support, or if you also have a channel, you can put that on there. You can just pimp out what to play next. We love you guys. Liking and subscribing, though, totally free. Make this chick smile. We'll see you guys in the next video.